Hello everyone, it's Captain Sensible here. So Mrs. Money's asked me to do a quick fragrance review before he does his little video. So today we're going to be talking about Yves Saint Laurent Chorus by D&G. Now I quite like this one, it's very strong, very masculine. And my wife enjoyed it when we went out for a night out the other day. Unfortunately, the evening didn't go that well. We went to this restaurant and uh, we both ordered the soup to start with and as the waiter brought it out, I noticed that his thumb was in my soup when he served it up to me. His, his thumb was in the bowl, so I said, here, listen up, mate. That's not very hygienic. He said, oh, I'm very sorry, sir. You just eat around that bit. So I did my best, but I wasn't too happy about it. And then he brings out the main course and again, I noticed his thumb was in the mashed potato. No, I was too embarrassed. I didn't want to cause a scene, so I just I said nothing and I ate it, and it was all right. And then after that, we 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 had dessert, and then we ordered a a coffee. I had a cappuccino, and he, of course, you can guess what's coming. He he brought it out, and his thumb was in the the coffee. I said, now listen here, mate, this is not good enough. You've had your thumb in my soup, you've had the thumb in the mashed potato, and now your thumb's in the coffee. What's going on here? Then he said, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I've, I've got a medical condition. I, I'll be honest with you. My doctor has told me I've got a, I've got bad circulation and it's, it's causing my thumb to go numb. He said, you've got to keep your thumb warm at all times. I said, that's not good enough, mate. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to keep your thumb warm, you can take it and shove it up your backside. And he said, well, yeah, I do when I'm in the kitchen. Hello guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be having a look at my top seven favorite aftershaves for men. Uh, so this is really all about the fragrance of the aftershaves. I'm a fragrance reviewer, so I'm not so interested in how they feel in terms of tightening up your skin and the kind of uh, the, the real shaving side of, of this. But of course, Anyone who's into fragrances will have come across the idea that there are aftershave versions of many of our favorite designer fragrances. Most of us fragrance fans probably prefer to get the Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum versions, but here we have designated aftershaves, maybe from the sort of shaving world, the, the world where people are into their different razors and their shaving soaps, but a lot of them have really great fragrances. You can use them two ways. You can either just splash them on your skin wherever you like, whether it's after you've shaved or not, as and you use them as a fragrance, or of course, you can put them into a little sprayer as I have done with one or two of today's examples. So the great thing about these is that they are very inexpensive. They're priced much lower than your standard designer fragrances in, in all cases here and they can smell absolutely great. And of course, they're not gonna be recognized or worn by many other people that you know. Certainly if you're a younger person, uh, most of us nowadays reach for eau de parfums, eau de toilettes and that kind of thing. Uh, but there are some great smells out there that I've des designated aftershaves. So let's get stuck into my list. Uh, don't forget, if you do like the video, please hit the subscribe button down there. If you're not already subscribed, then you won't miss any of my future videos. So. We've got seven, all of them except this first one are actually available on a great website in the UK which also ships to Europe. It's executiveshaving.co.uk. I'm not sponsored by them and they've only sent me one of these fragrances free for this video, but they have also given me a code. Again, I don't get anything from that, but you guys get 10% off with the code SMELLY10 across their website, the whole website. So go and check them out. And I will put the link to the Executive Shaving website in the description of the video. Everything's on there except this first one that I'm going to talk about. So let's get stuck into it. First up then, we're going with Floyd. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could well be wrong. So this is a really famous aftershave. I think the company originates in Spain. This one's a made in Italy version. There seem to be two versions. My one is called Floyd Dopo Barbara Aftershave, the Genuine. I think there's a slightly different version called Vigoroso, which I've not tried. Anyway, for 400 ml bottle, got this on eBay, I think it cost me 15 pounds around about for 400 ml, incredible. So this is literally a barbershop fragrance that is used in many barbershops in Europe. And it has a really, really fantastic, quite potent musky, it's, it's a musky, soapy, slightly spicy, very, very stereotypically barbershopish smell. Some similarities, passing similarities to Brut by Fabergé, which I'm not putting in this list, uh, and some of the other ones that I'm gonna mention later as well. This one, although it has a, a freshness, it's quite masculine, 
and it definitely has a sort of slight an, an ambry and spicy undertone and quite an old school vibe it's very very pleasant indeed performance is okay aftershaves are going to be concentrated at a really low level of actual scent compared to alcohol and other stuff in there like four or five percent or even a bit less than that so longevity actually on this one i find not absolutely awful i mean you'd think well therefore only going to last an hour and it's going to be gone but it lasts okay it's very very manly it's got a real fresh out of the barber kind of vibe a bit of a retro feel it smells great i think and it's, it's a really good choice i love the kind of design of the bottle looks great in your bathroom or something like that so super stuff fluid aftershave i got that on ebay next up we've got the one that could be the star of the whole video in a way it's a relatively new release it's called nevis and this is basically an executive shaving branded fragrance so you can just get it on their website and you get a 100 ml bottle here again a, a splash bottle these none of these come with sprayers has a little dispenser like that and it's priced at just 15 pounds something i think 15 pounds 50 on their website you can use my code for a discount and basically it smells exceedingly similar to green irish tweed by creed at a fraction of the price i've tried loads of different clones of that there's parfums vintage ones uh, that are quite expensive very good but expensive there are really cheap ones out there like rag bar for man which are decent but lack a little bit of something about the opening this one to me in scent is as good as any clone I've, I've tried it's better than the cheap ones like rag bar for man in terms of capturing the opening notes of green irish tweed lovely green um, a lemon verbena kind of feel a green grassy note there's sandalwood in here violet leaf a bit of the kind of creed classic ambergris feel some similarities to davidoff's cool water but higher quality really really superb at the moment the best smelling green irish tweed clone honestly that i've smelled from any brand in any price bracket uh, obviously concentrated a little on the low side compared to eau de toilettes and eau de parfums but longevity you get a couple of hours okay projection and it's not too bad at all for the price I, st I think it's a great it's a great steal i've got some in a sprayer here so i've been using it in the way that we now tend to apply our fragrances or you can just go heavy with splashing it all over your body with these you can apply them anywhere you put them on your hands your wrists wherever you normally apply fragrances you don't have to necessarily put them all over your face in the areas that you would shave kind of stating the obvious there but yeah superb stuff that nevis kind of a, a new release under the executive shaving brand i think that may be the the one in this list that you guys in the united states probably can't get uh, most of the rest of them you should be able to source somewhere uh, if you're not in the places that executive shaving supply. Don't forget if you'd like to join the Smelly Army private members club over on Patreon there's a link in the description to do that. It costs just $2 a month and you get an extra video from me every week plus you get to watch everything I've already uploaded in there. We're building a really nice community, lots of interaction and I'd love to see you in there. Okay moving on next then we're going to have an absolute total classic fragrance and this is Pinard Clubman. Uh, a legendary fragrance originating in the USA and as you can see I've used quite a bit of this one again literally a barbershop fragrance that is used in many barbershops to me a little similar to Brut by Fabergé but I prefer it it's better uh, it's got a lovely soapy vibe it has some citrus notes it definitely has some quite significant herbal green kind of tones a little bit of spiciness quite a large dose of lavender and uh, there's a, an oak moss or tree moss i think is what they use now to approximate the smell of oak moss but a very very uh, i can see on the back actually oak moss is still listed as one of the ingredients there so a really traditional masculine soapy fresh kind of smell not really dated not very hairy chest smelling to me a real just a kind of classic well-groomed kind of 1950s guy just been to the barber you get out and you get in some fantastic 1950s car and you, you're in the program happy days or something like that lovely fresh clean cut preppy kind of smell for a well presented gentleman a little bit like the man on the thing there prices on this uh, it's insanely cheap i think you can get an 18 for 18 pounds you can get 370 mils for example and similarly equivalently cheap prices wherever you are in the world if you can find that one so really lovely stuff moving on another true classic um, back to europe again is pro raso so pro raso i think it's an italian company and it's uh, really a mixture of eucalyptus and mint. It's very, very simple. It has that kind of slight menthol smell, which you may or may not enjoy. That tends to be a feature of many aftershaves as I think it's involved in the, the kind of oils that help your skin. But just using it as a shave as a, a fragrance works really well. So it's a green, again, soapy. It's like eucalyptus, mint, and maybe just a hint of some green grassy undertones. Very, very pleasant. Not the longest lasting thing in the world. Fantastic. Uh, fresh out of the shower and i love the kind of aesthetic the traditional 
simple design of the bottle really really nice stuff it's been in my gym bag a few times as an after the gym kind of scent it works really well as that when you're not in the mood to put too much in, uh, thought into your fragrance you can have it as a work scent something like that clean approachable fresh kind of gentlemanly and a classic classic scent so pro raso had to be in my list here's another absolute superstar and a less traditional obvious brand name here so this is Fra Rinic Aftershave Stroke Eau de Toilette, higher concentration than the other ones in the list. Again, comes in a great splash bottle. It's by the company Extro, Extro Cosmesi over in Italy. Uh, I think it's back in stock at Executive Shaving. It's been in and out of stock a bit. I think the price is around about £12.50, something like that. Superb citrus aromatic scent, kind of smells fresh out of the Turkish barbers. I, I showed it to a friend Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel, great reviewer, and his first impression was it smells like a Turkish barber's, where they tend to have very citrusy uh, cologne splashes. I've got another one here, which I think we've got, uh, the note listing's kind of there in Italian on the back, but it's rubbed off the old bottle. I'm gonna try and translate uh, Spedzi, no idea. Petit grain we've got, and Arancia, so that's uh, Petit grain and orange. There is uh, orange flower in there, lavender and ylang lang, so very fresh notes. Incense is also listed, and myrrh and patchouli are in there too. So it's got a little bit of depth to it, but it's very much a classic barbershop kind of smell. It's, it could be an Aqua de Parma Colonia variant, one that doesn't actually exist, but it's, I'm not gonna be, I, I don't wanna be silly here, but it smells as good as some of the Aqua de Parma Colonias like Asoluta or Ascenza to my nose. I really, really enjoy it. So a beautiful, fresh, citrus, aromatic fragrance. This one performs really well. I had it in a sprayer that sprayed out, kind of a big plasticky sprayer that sprayed out an absolute ton. And I got decent longevity and projection. And I think that one is concentrated slightly more like an eau de toilette, but you can also use it in the traditional uh, aftershave, splash it on your face type of way. There's a little bit of menthol in that one according to the ingredients, but you don't pick up on that smell. So if you find that smell not to your taste, don't worry. So Fra Rinic, one of many really good ones from Extro, and they've got a whole range of them actually uh, at Executive Shaving, which you can check out. Some other really nice citrusy ones uh, that I'd highly recommend. One that I think is not in stock at the time of making the video is Positano, a superb citrus green fig combination. If you like fig and citrus combos, stunning stuff when, when it's back in stock if you can find it. Okay, so we just have a couple more left. Where are we in the list? Ah, yes. Uh, the, right, okay. So next up, we have something again from Pro Rasa, and I've cheated a bit. This is called Wood and Spice Cologne, and it does come in a sprayer. So I'm cheating here, but it, it's definitely in that kind of um, world of shaving type vibe, and the company, of course, mainly known for their shaving stuff. The uh, description on here says Cologne. Bold and velvety primary notes go hand in hand with delicate violet leaves. A gentle hint of vanilla leaves the skin feeling loved and cared for. So this is very different to the others in that it's not predominantly a citrusy fragrance. I think it's a beautiful woody fragrance. We get, I, I think we have cedar, sandalwood, and a bit of vetiver in here, and a creamy smoothness and a little bit of vanilla. It's really, really nice. It's very manly. It's very grown up. It doesn't smell at all dated, uh, and it's a superb fragrance. Something about it actually weirdly reminded me a little bit of Creed's original Santal, but with less of the fruity sweetness, a bit more of a grown up vibe. Um, brilliant stuff. I really, really enjoy Pro Arso, Wood and Spice. I think that was a, a bit more expensive, more like the 25 pound mark, something like that. Good stuff, let me know if you've tried it. And finally, we're onto the last one in the list. This is another one from Pinard, the same company that gave us uh, Pinard original Clubman. This one is called Pinard citrus and musk they're actually designating it as an eau de cologne the notes listing is kind of very helpfully given on the back so i will read that out club man citrus musk is a cool citrus blend of lemongrass limes lemons and bergamot follows it says with jasmine muget sorry about the pronunciation carnation and carnation cools and refreshes brilliant combination of lime and other citrus notes but if you like the note of lime and i really do you get a really nice soapy lime combination with a little bit of light delicate florals and a soft and subtle undertone of masculine muskiness. Really, really lovely stuff. You can get these little six uh, pound 50 ml bottles, I think, on executive shaving or, or the 370 huge one, I think only still at that 18 pounds price. So really, really a great brand to try out. Pinard, absolute classic stuff. Again, you can splash it on liberally, using your hands, or you can put them in a little spray if you prefer to use them in the normal way. For citrus fans, check that one out. Lovely, cheapy, again, that fresh out of the shower type of smell. None of these have amazing performance. This one, actually, you know, they're not terrible. You can tend to put a lot more on because they're, they're a little bit inexpensive, so you're not worried about 
you know, you know, not being tight with these. And I think that you know, for the money, you can have just so much fun with these compared to some of the more expensive eau de parfums and niche fragrances out there. So guys, let me know what you thought of that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.